Alright guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, uh, what a beautiful rainy night it is. It is 10-25-2018. And I appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm going to try to play a little War Robots. And maybe talk to you guys while I'm doing it also. This is a 420 show, friendly, so if you like to participate with me, you're more than welcome to. So if you hear any type of lighters or flickering or huffing or coughing or anything like that, just know it's because I have a cold. Haha. <laughs> yes, that is correct. Uh, let's see here. I got somebody messaging me real quick. Do you have the measurements to see you know how tall and wide it is? Thanks. Oh my god. No, I don't know how tall or wide the refrigerator is that I'm selling. It's a damn refrigerator. Jesus. I don't know. You come get it tonight? Probably not. Let's see here. I got all the lighters in the world, but I cannot find a lighter. Uh, let's see if any of my friends are online. Let's go online real quick. We'll pop in here. So I'm just starting to learn how to do these uh, voiceovers. And I like to say I, I like it. I hope you guys like it. If y'all do, make sure to go ahead and give me a thumbs up in the video. It helps out. Your support goes a long way. And if anybody has a lighter, I would love to use it right now because I need one. And it's funny because I've had like five or six of them all day. Do I know where they are? No. Oh, God. Well. The good news is, is that if I was live streaming this, y'all would be, uh, I'd put y'all on break for a few minutes while I go find a lighter, but lucky for us, I just found one on the floor. Alright, so, I got Racer Ron in here with me right now, so that's good. Let's go ahead and close that page out in case it's recording that shit. Uh. <laughs> so, <coughs> <coughs> I've ordered some <coughs> modification parts for the ADCC bicycle and also I found out that the bike is not in fact 80 cc's it is actually 66 cc's and the way that I found out that is because in China their idea of a cc is different than our idea of a cc so if it's 80 cc's in china it's actually 66 cc's in america but that's okay because we're talking about getting a low or i'm sorry a high compression head we're going to upgrade the cdi module we're going to upgrade the magneto we're going to upgrade the exhaust we're going to upgrade the drivetrain and we're going to hey quit eating my damn christmas tree damn bunny rabbit Isabel, quit eating my tree. Stop. Go. Damn, man. My rabbit's over here eating my Christmas tree. Little fuzzy bunny. I am currently joined by Racer Ron on the First Tank Squad. If you guys have Facebook, then you guys have War Robots. All you got to do is get into the game room and download it. And if you download it, please tell me, leave me a message or contact me and tell me that you're on it. And I can get you started in the right foot. With me and the help of my friends and our squad, we can very quickly advance you to where you can be a force to reckon with. Because being in a squad is the way to go with it. Boom, boom, boom. Get him, get him. Who's up here? Who's up here? Ron's holding it down. I gotta get up. Oh, he got it. Good deal. 
shock train. I see you, but he don't see me. There's a guy over here somewhere. I gotta find his ass. Die! Blam! Them gush shotguns on top are tearing him a new one. Followed by my dual Terrans. See that? I jumped high to hit him. Oh yeah. Alright, who's behind me? Anybody? Nah, friendlies. So I'm gonna wait for this fool right here to walk out and fully expose himself so I can rock him. Uh-oh, am I getting shot up from behind? Not friendly. It's a friendly. We're good, we're good. So we're gonna go back this way. Boom! I'm gonna get you. Uh, that's right, son. You don't like it. You don't want it. I dish it. Oh, where you going, you flying SOB? Come down here. Come back to Earth. Welcome to my spaceship. You know what I'm saying? We got laser beams and shit. Come on, racer. Oh, no. Watch out. We got a guy above us, Ron. Got one above us. Let's see if I can corner shoot him. Oh, no. I'm getting tag teamed. Oh, they got me. Alright, let's spawn at B. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn down the volume just a tad so I can hear myself talk. Man, so the other day I was uh, riding the bike, right? And I come around this corner. And you know how you kind of get the feeling that like somebody's following you or watching you? Well, I'm sitting there cruising down the street. And I look behind me. And there is this lady in a car of course, and she is tailgating me while I'm on this bike. She was so close to me that I could reach out and touch her, touch the like hood of her car. That's how close she was to me. I started, you know, throwing my hands up like, damn, you know, hey, get off my back, you know. Well, I'm glad she did because no sooner than that, I hit a damn acorn and I lost it. I, it threw me off the bike and everything, and if that happened when she was still on me like that, she probably would have ran me over. And there would have been no YouTube videos from Tech PCs for a while, you know what I mean? Uh, one thing I do want to say is uh, I definitely feel like, you know, the first 30 subscribers I had were kind of like friends and family and maybe odds and ends people I would meet and tell them about my channel. But I would have to say, the last 25 subscribers, I felt like, uh, have really impacted, have really made a difference. Um, because we're getting more comments, um, I'm getting more views, I'm getting more likes, you know. And I kind of hope that it turns into a snowball effect. Because I would love to give away PlayStation 4s and, you know, if I can get a sponsor and do some things like that, I would, you know. I mean, just, there's so many things, guys, that I would love to do, but I, I can't because, for one, I don't know enough people or the resources to do it, and two, I don't have the money to do it. So, you know, I'm limited to what I can and can't do, you know what I mean? Um, although we, or I do have an upcoming video that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to try to take a alarm clock, a perfectly good alarm clock, and I'm going to take the power supply out of it. And I'm going to see if I can't build my own. We won that game, guys. Good job. See if I can't get... Um, I want to build my own DIY power supply. So basically, I want to ghetto rig a power supply, try to build my own, and then put it in the alarm clock to see if it will actually power and run the alarm clock. Uh, although, I will be plugging this in outside. Because the last time I did some stuff like this, I almost caught the place on fire. And, yeah, we're not burning down the command center or the wife's house because I'll be divorced and without a house and I can't have that. I also want to give a uh, special shout out and thanks to a friend of mine and a viewer and a subscriber, Andy. Andy's always been there since the beginning. And I appreciate you. Also... There's a friend of mine named Derek Savage. He has also been a subscriber and a friend of the channel. 
and I just want to thank them two people because they have been very supportive and have, you know, really, I would have to say, they've done a good job, you know, telling me, hey man, well, why don't you do things like this, or, uh, you know, or they, they've helped me out with advice and stuff like that, so I just want to give a shout out to them, you know. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but in some of my videos, like toward the very end, like the last five or six seconds of the video, I include a dirty little picture for you guys. Usually it's a hot chick, you know, like some ass or, you know, like a butt. Well, that is an ass. Well, titties, you know, things like that. I usually include that for you guys in there, just as a little hoorah, you know. All right, we are playing the new map, Castle. All right, <laughs> and I got more of my squad mates with me now. Now I got Shadow Walker, Racer Ron, and Kirk. So yeah, you know, we got a pretty good squad. Um, first tank squad made by uh, a gentleman named Iron Horse. He's a, I believe he's an ex-Marine. Oh no, I'm froze. Somebody hit me. Nice guys, man. And everybody in our squad is very helpful. Very helpful toward each other. Um, you know, we all give each other advice, we try to back each other up in games, you know, be a squad. And the best way to uh, earn points and get money in this game is from that. Ow, what the hell was that? Oh, I'm frozen, he's got me frozen. Get behind, get behind, there we go, there we go. Watch out behind you. Oh, they're sneaking up on us. I swear, man, this bunny rabbit, it is, it is so mischief. It gets into everything. Everything. And he's been chewing my baseboards, which I am not happy about at all. Come on, boy, get a little Oh, come on, that's crap. How in the world did it get me through that freaking shield? That's bullshit. All right, I got your, I got your apples. I got them right here. So, uh, that reminds me. I used to date a girl a few uh, few years back, and she was, uh, ow, what the hell was that? She was um, Puerto Rican and Cuban, and she wanted me to meet her family. So I went over to her house, and her entire family was there, like in the living room. And here I come, ow, what the hell? Oh, that's some crap if I've ever seen something. Wow. So anyway, I go walking into the door, and there's her entire family sitting there. And I come walking in, and here's this white boy come walking into a house full of Hispanics. And her brother decides to be a smartass and say, Hey, Don, where did you park your horse? And I don't know why. But my comment was, next to your fruit stand. Oh boy, did I get the look. Of course, you know, when he says a racist ass thing to me, the entire family starts laughing. Oh ha ha ha, where'd you park your horse? That's funny, ha oh, ha ha. Well, you know what? They didn't think that shit was funny when I said next to your fruit stand. Well, ever since that day, uh, there was a bad taste in their mouth for me. And honestly, I, I really, you know, that's not how I wanted it to go down. That's not at all how I wanted them to meet me. And that was not my first impression, you know, but I was put in that situation by her brother. And I, you know, I, now since I'm older and I'm sitting here thinking about it, I should have just let them, you know, talk their shit and have their fun and, you know, let them be the racist of the group and just, you know, and me be the bigger man. but. I was young and naive, and that's what happened. So I told him I parked it next to his fruit stand. I mean, well, damn, these new wave weapons suck. Especially when you're getting hit against them. This is the new map, by the way. This is called Castle. It is a very interesting map. It is full of different elevations and angles, uh, which is kind of a good thing, but also kind of a bad thing. 
Uh, Christmas is coming around, guys. Getting real close. We're going to have to start asking Santa what we want. I just want all my bills paid and a couple grand in the bank. That's it. That's all I want for Christmas and my family. You know, without family, without your health, I mean, truly, none of that other stuff matters because you can't do nothing with them. Let's get them, Ron. We're going to tag team this guy right here. Oh, Ron just got nailed. Well, he ain't going to like me. Got him. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, we done lost the game, so I'm just going to try. I'm, am I the last one? I better not be. But that's always figures, though. I'm usually always the last one in the game, you know? All right, who's messaging me, man? Because my phone's blowing up and stuff. Uh, I found a, uh, get this, guys. I found a, uh, I found a refrigerator on the side of the road today. And I took it home. And I cleaned it up. And now I'm asking 50 bucks for it on Facebook. And that's one of, that's truly, like, honestly, guys, that's one of the ways that I've been making money for, like, the last month and a half. Is, like, I'll drive around the neighborhood, you know, I'll scrap metal, I'll do any type of scrapping I can, and then, like, I'll find stuff. Like, people will throw away Christmas trees, you know, the box and everything, because they bought a new one. Man, I'll stop and pick that Christmas tree up bring it home, put it together, spend like $5 on decorations, decorate it, and I'll sell that tree for 60 bucks. And you know what? I've already done it. And I found another Christmas tree on the side of the road, and I have that for sale now. I find kids' toys. I find swings, furniture. Somebody threw away a perfectly good vacuum cleaner because it was clogged up. Well, guess what? I brought the vacuum cleaner home, cleaned it up, found the clog, pulled the clog out. It works great. I sold the vacuum cleaner for $25. That's what I'm saying. Like 80% of the shit that I find and sell, I find on the side of the road and I love it. It's like free profit. You know, um, right now, right now, um, uh, I have I'm sorry, my, uh, I play Clash of Clans. I hope you guys play Clash of Clans too, because that's like one of the best games ever. So, yeah, you know. Hold on, Jen my, uh, my fiance is texting me, Jennifer. She's at work. That's a, she's a good girl, man. She's very supportive of what I do. Um, you know, she likes the idea of a channel and, you know, she told me one day, I like, she's never really dated a video game player, you know, a guy that games or is into computers and stuff. I'm a completely different type of person than what she normally dates. But she told me one day, you know, I like that because I never have to worry about where you are. Because you never go anywhere. You always stay home. You're always doing YouTube or you're always playing video games or you're always building something in your room. She's like, you know, I kind of like that you always be at home, you know. And I think the reason why she likes it so much is because all of her other dudes in the past, you know, don't stay home or weren't home or they were out cheating on her. Or they're out selling dope or, you know, being losers. You know, we, we, don't, we, we need less of that in the world. You know what I mean? We need, we need more. We need hugs, not drugs. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, that hurt. Ooh, that hurt. Let's see, I love this guy right here. Man, this dude's so badass with his big old cannons on top. Just boom, 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 boom. The name of the, the nickname of this weapon is called Shield Breaker. And I got two of them. There it is. Kill. And they have a rapid fire mode where they dramatically, damn, I just got murdered, where they dramatically increase the rate of fire uh, if you hold the uh, the trigger down for more than like three or four seconds, it turns into an automatic fire. Let's see here. It looks like we're playing uh, Deathmatch, so it's us versus them, and it looks like we are kicking their ass at the moment. 
I hope you guys don't mind the slight language. I usually don't cuss, nor do I like the word or like cussing, but I usually don't use the F bomb or any kind of words like that. You might hear me say the S word or, you know, the D word, things of that nature. Stuff that we can handle. Things that you've heard before that aren't completely offensive. Because the last thing we want to do is offend somebody on the channel. Uh oh! Uh oh, SpaghettiO! No! Oh, you suck! And you swallow! Ugh. Alright. Time to bring out the little guy. The little, the little guy. You woke the baby. Oh man, I hope you guys uh, like the Marvel movies, man, because I do. I just, I know I'm a little late to the party, but I just now seen the movie uh, Ant-Man uh, versus Wasp or whatever it is. It's the second Ant-Man. Uh, that is awesome. That was a great, great movie. They did a good job on that. I'm trying to eventually, you know, that would probably be a good giveaway, you know, get every single Marvel movie that's been made yet, put them all together in a complete box set, and then give them away to somebody, you know, like to a, a subscriber. That would, that would be so cool. They would, they would love that. I think someone would love that because I know I would, and that would probably be like, if I went out and bought all those movies. I mean, how many movies are there? Like, 15, 16? Maybe more? You know, at 20, let's just say 20 bucks a piece. Although, if I was to do this, I would go to, like, a pawn shop or, like, you know, a D, like a used DVD store and get them secondhand. Um, to go out and to buy all those movies brand new from, like, Walmart would, would cost me several hundred dollars. And I'm not going to do that because I don't have a sponsor to do that. Or else I would. If I could have somebody that gave me the money to do that, I would do it. I'd go out and buy all those movies brand new just for just to give away um, to a subscriber. Because I love giving away things. I think that is so cool. Especially if the, pack, if the prizes are awesome. You know, things that we could use. You know, that's, that's definitely worth it. You know, um... Oh, this guy wants to play. I'm going to cut the corner right here on him. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. I put like four or five real good shots into him. Good thing about this is that the weapons shoot very far. I got like 500 meters worth of, of range. You know, I got to figure out how to talk, play the game, and concentrate while I'm playing the game. Because that's difficult sometimes. Because when you're sitting here playing the game, you, you're like, um, you kind of get quiet and you don't really say too much. But, you know, it's just the way it is. I actually think I may switch up games after this one. But I'm afraid that if I switch games, that it will change. So, I don't know. I think I have to just stick with one game. While I am recording and narrating at the same time. This is brought to you by a newer condense, uh, condenser microphone. Running off of a 48 watt phantom power supply. And it's, uh, let's see here, it's XLR. And it's a condenser microphone. And I think it's the N1600 and the N800. Because we are actually using two microphones right now. To ensure that you guys can hear me and hear me loud and clear. So, right there, boom. Alright, so I still got a few guys in the squad with me. We're going to try to invite a few more. Alright, here we go. A few more guys. Let's see if they'll join, if they'll play. So, what are you guys doing right now? Um, tell me in the comments. What are you doing right now? Are you sitting in... You know, are you sitting in class? Are you in a backseat of a taxi cab going somewhere? Are you at an airport? Are you walking through Walmart looking at YouTube videos? Uh, tell me what you guys are doing and uh, leave it 
and tell me in the comments, you know, and make sure you, while you're down there, you leave me a thumbs up with it. So, we're just going to wait a few more seconds uh, to see if Bloody Big David and Thunder Dave join. So, my cell phone today completely took a <laughs> on me. I had to go and dish out $100 for a brand new phone and then pay a $25 activation fee and then spend another $25 on a case. So, there you go. See how quickly that goes from $60 to $100 to $150? It's ridiculous, man. They get you with that activation fee crap. You know, that's that's bullshit. That's just a charge. That's just, you know, that's just one of them fees. You know, it's one of them BS fees. I, I don't know. It's like me charging you 20 bucks for a pair of shoes and then charging you $5 more for the shoe laces. It's like, dude, the shoe laces come with the shoes. Like, that's just the way it is. You know? Like, hello, people these days, I swear. Yeah. Uh, so, one of my old hobbies was um, RC cars. I used to love RC cars. And I played with them and raced with them. And I used to work for Hobby Town USA. And I was their head mechanic. And I had a lot of fun doing that out through my high school year. And then I went into college and kind of got out of it. Well, I'll, I ended up selling all of my stuff and I'm basically no longer into the hobby other than receiving a few RC magazines in the mail periodically. I'm really thinking about getting back into it. Although that's a very expensive hobby. At one time, I had about $10,000 invested into one RC car that I raced on a, you know, a pro amateur level. It was a lot of fun you know, uh, having, you know, an RC car that could do 70 miles an hour and was gas powered and ran off of a LiPo battery that was 11.1 .1 volts and had unbelievable raw power that would just rip the drive axles in half so you would have to upgrade the drive shaft and then you would have to upgrade the transmission to handle it and just you know it's just it's a hobby so of course you're going to spend a bunch of money on it but i don't know it was just a thought see i'm originally from tampa florida I'm 31 years old. I was born in Tampa in September 1st, so that makes me a Virgo. We must be playing against a clan because these guys are organized. Oh man, they put us in a higher league. Why would they put us in? See, we are currently in the Diamond League. And we are playing the Champion League. And these guys just have way better bots than us. I mean, there's you, you can't compete with this crap. It's ridiculous. So anyway, I'm going to try to give them a little run with their money. Because I also have a uh, Champion bot right here. Oh, that's the end of that crappy game. Ugh. But anyway, I'm from Tampa, Florida. I used to race go-karts for a long time. And then I was in martial arts for 10 years. Got my black belt. Got my third degree black belt. Graduated high school. Went to college. Graduated college. Got a master's. And then continue on with college and got an AA in agricultural science. And my bachelor is a BA in agriculture or chemical science. So I work in a kitchen. <laughs> a 
Learn how to grow plants and you work in a kitchen. That's because nobody wants to hire me because I am a felon. About six, seven years ago, guys, seven, six, seven years ago, um, I was arrested for hacking and breaking into ATM machines. I figured out a way to hack ATM machines. I basically used to go in there and program it and get it to order me a code and it would spit out money for me and all them good things. If, um, if you guys want to know more about that, make sure you leave me a comment, ask me about the ATM deal and I'll, and I'll do a video discussing that and give it into detail on how exactly I did it and how long I did it and how I, um, you know, managed to accumulate $40,000 and 17 or 18 felonies, which one of them was cyber, uh, cyber terrorism. So yeah, if you want to know more about that, um, I can do a video discussing that, but that's not really something that you want to divulge to everybody. But at the same time, you know, uh, that was in a past life. I was a different person when I was doing that. And I just, I think of things differently now and I'm over it. So I could probably discuss it if I wanted to. Isabel. That damn bunny rabbit, man. She's into everything. Where are we at? Where are we at? Oh, great. Now we're playing another squad. Huh. What a bitch. Just hit me with that crappy ass shock train. Oh, my God. I hate shock trains. Oh, they're so annoying. You know what? It wouldn't be so bad if they didn't, like, bounce off of you. Oh, you got lucky I couldn't hit you with that. It's alright, dude. I got you pretty good, though. Like, you're, you're on the fence, son. Now you're garbage. No! Oh, man. Your boy got me. You're so lucky on that. Alright, I gotta get high. Um, not that, get your mind out the gutters, I gotta get high elevation on the map, so I can get good angles on these guys, so I can open up on them, because if I can open up on them, I can really, I can really tear into them, especially if I can get a full lick on them, just I can't let them hit me. And I don't want to be next to any of my guys, because if one of them hits me with that shock train, it will bounce off of me. See, I like using the old school weapons and the old school bots, because it's harder. It's more, it's more of a, a ha-ha, because I kicked your butt, or I put up a hell of a fight and took out a bunch of your dudes with an older bot, a less advanced bot and less advanced weaponry you know it'd be like people coming back from the civil war and completely kicking our ass with muskets and gatling cannons and old cannons you know shooting iron balls at us versus our today's military with jets and guided missiles and stuff you know what i'm saying it, it would just it would be crazy for the civil war to come back and just kick our ass with that type of technology so that's what it's like in the game you know that's why i use older bots and older weaponry uh, but unfortunately i can't i can't be like that with with my entire strategy mainly because if i do the oh no If I do, then I won't have any type of an advantage sometimes over them. So, you know, you get tired of it and you, you want to give them the pain. So, you know what? That's what you need. You need a flamethrower or you need these type of weaponry. See, something like that, you know, like you, you, you need it to compete on that type of level. That bot right there that you currently see in front of you, I am actually trying to build components to receive that bot. And that is actually actually the weapon system that I plan to run on it for Tumblr. 
I have periodically um, been upgrading tumblest systems so when I get the bot I can equip it with you know all level 8 or all level 10 tumblest versus all level 5 tumblest you know what I'm saying so it, it would increase my damage per second by quite a bit so anyway guys I've been talking for 35 minutes now and I hope you guys enjoyed my little chat and some of my gameplay uh, we kind of sucked in some of it but it is what it is so if you guys like this make sure you give me that thumbs up thank you guys so much for your time and energy and as always I will see you guys on the next time and y'all be cool and bye peace